Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Wardrobe essentials are gonna look different for everyone. You know, depending on your day-to-day -day lifestyle, your skin tone, your body type, and just personal preference. But these are the items that I think are the basic foundation for every outfit. And from there, you can bring in more trendy pieces and more colors, but these items are timeless and they'll see you through every season. Before we get started, I just wanna quickly talk about how I've started to rebuild my wardrobe over the past couple of years. I moved to Sydney from London about three years ago now and when I moved I only brought with me one carry-on suitcase, one backpack and one check-in luggage. And since moving here I've really tried to focus on buying less but buying better. As I know that I'm not going to be in Sydney forever, every time I want to buy something I ask myself, is this something I want to take back to the UK or is this going to be another thing that I have to get rid of when I move back? And that has really helped me build a mindset of only buying things that I really love or anything that's really essential. I really do take into consideration, do I really want it? Do I really love it? Is it something that's missing from my wardrobe or am I just buying something for the sake of buying it? So with that all being said, I hope that this video is helpful for you and let's get into it. Starting off with the ultimate classic, a white t-shirt. This might be an obvious one, but I love how fresh and crisp a white t-shirt can look. This is a really affordable one from Uniqlo. I have it in a few sizes for different types of looks. I tried a few brands, but I like this Uniqlo U one because it's a really thick material, so it's not see-through at all. I also really like the rib detailing around the neckline. I've gone for a smarter look here with black trousers and black sock boots. I got these sock boots from Zara last year, and they're probably one of the best things I bought from there. The heel height is easy enough to wear comfortably all day, and the pointed toe dresses up any look. For look two, I've gone for a simple black tank top, or what some may call a singlet. Again, another easy item that can be dressed up or down. My favourite one that I'm wearing here is from Totem. Although it's pretty pricey for a tank top, it's probably my most worn black top. I've worn it here really casually with some jeans and white sneakers. A white sneaker is such an integral shoe to have, especially since 2020 was due for the year of sweatpants and comfy clothes. My white sneaker of choice are these Nike Cortez ones, which were first released in the 70s. So it has really stood the test of time and is a classic shoe. A white shirt is integral to any wardrobe as there are so many ways to wear it. This is a cotton one from Uniqlo. I do think that they have really good affordable basics and a great selection of cuts and colours depending on what you like. I personally like my shirts to be a little oversized, so I normally buy one size up or look for an oversized fit. I've dressed it up here with black straight leg jeans from Redone and the perfect mules from Dear Francis. Redone are a great brand as they take old vintage Levi's and rework them into newer styles. Whilst they are pricey, I like the idea of giving something that already exists a second life and a great fitting pair of stiff denim jeans should last a lifetime. The mules are a recent purchase from Dear Francis. I haven't had a chance to wear them out yet because, well, 2020, but to me they are the epitome of minimal and timeless footwear not to mention super comfortable due to the low block heel. Sometimes I like to knot shirts at the front for a different look. I like white shirts that have some extra details, like this one from Equipment that has extra long cuffs. I just think it's a really cool detail that makes what could be a boring outfit into something a bit more special. Look four is a staple for cold winter months, a black brown neck cashmere jumper. This one is from Everlane. They have a really great variety of cashmere in different colors and cuts at affordable prices, and oftentimes they go on sale. This is so versatile, you can wear it with everything. Layer it up or even wear it draped around your shoulders. I have it on here with a pair of white jeans from Topshop and those Nike trainers again. I love a white jean, but I'm quite picky about the cut of them. I think they look better as a straight leg jean rather than a skinny jean and in a stiffer denim so that they aren't see-through. Is there anything more elegant than a well-fitting pair of black trousers? These are the same trousers from Look One with the white t-shirt and Zara boots. I purchased these from the outlet about five years ago. Here I have them on with the same totem tank and Dear Francis mules. A very simple all black look finished up with a black bucket bag from Stoud. Stored? Stoud. I don't know how to pronounce that, sorry. I got this bag in 2018 and I'm still in love with it. It's such a well-made, 
mid-range luxury bag and I still get compliments on it when I use it. Changing up black trousers for blue jeans and mules for loafers. Obviously the cut and colour of your jeans will be dependent on your body type and preference. I prefer a light wash denim. These ones are from Everlane and they are called the kick flare jeans, so they are tight at the top and have a slight cropped flare at the bottom. I think that they are super flattering on my body shape and I even have them in black too. Worn with my beloved Gucci loafers, the most classic loafer out there in my opinion. The gold horse bit detail is iconic and makes any outfit look smart and polished. These are obviously a huge investment, but they are so comfortable. Even more comfortable than some of my trainers, I'd say. If there is one type of shoe to spend your money on, it would be these. Another blue jean look, this time with my absolute favourite pair from Redone. These are a really high-waisted pair and have some stretch in them, so they are really comfortable. My favourite part about them is that they are a button-up fly. I just think that small details like that really pull an outfit together. I love wearing ripped denim in a smarter way, like pairing them up with the same white Uniqlo shirt from before and Dear Francis Mules. Switching it up with a little black dress. Again, if you find the right cut to flatter your body shape, it's an item that you can wear for years and years to come. This is a realisation par dress that I got on Depop last year. I highly recommend Depop for realisation par. I find that there are a lot of people selling it at much lower than retail, and buying pre-loved is also a great way to minimise waste. Here I've paired it with these Dear Francis Mules again, but I would even wear this dress with sneakers for a more casual summer look. If you want to cover up a bit more, I'm putting on that same Uniqlo shirt over it and knotting it at the waist. Moving on to outerwear, and first up is a blazer. Honestly, a combination of jeans, a white t-shirt and loafers is a fail-safe uniform. This blazer here is one that I have had for a few years now from Reese that I got from a sample sale in London. It's double breasted and a size up from my usual size for an oversized fit. Pulling up the sleeves like I have done here gives it a more casual feel. I also like that the material has a texture to it, giving something that would otherwise be quite simple a more interesting detail. Again, blazers are one of those items where the cut and fit of it will depend on how you like to dress, but you just can't go wrong with something oversized and double-breasted. For look 10, it has to be this leather jacket. If I had to choose one absolute favourite item from my wardrobe, it would be this jacket. I bought it around six or seven years ago now from the Kugels. A leather jacket is so versatile for mid-season months, and I'm quite certain that I've taken it on every holiday that I've been on since getting it. I don't think I'll ever part with this jacket. I love this rugged jacket with all its zips and pockets. It's definitely an item that makes me feel good whilst wearing it. A leather jacket is another investment item, but good leather should last a lifetime. And once you find the one that you love, you'll have it forever. Thank you so much for watching. I've left links to what I can in the description box below. Please like and subscribe for more content coming soon. And I'll see you in the next one.